All right, this is going to be the introduction to a expository study on the book of Revelation. I've gotten quite a few requests to do this, and so I decided I would do this, and I prayed about it. You know, Lord, what, do you, what angle do you want me to use here on this study? And um, here's the angle I'm going to be using. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16 says, All Scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, throughly furnished unto all good works. And I got to thinking about it, and I've been reading uh, through Revelation and, and just going through it uh, and uh, reading it and reading it and reading it. Uh, that's typically what I'll do when I do an expository study. I won't just read it once and just kind of, you know, go. I'll read it many, many, many times and um, go over it and say, okay, Lord, what do you want me to present with this thing? Well, I thought kind of a unique angle um, and one that I would be accurate in doing is instruction in righteousness for a Christian today from the book of Revelation. Kind of a unique spin on things because most people try to teach Revelation as if they can understand it fully. And I'm going to tell you right now, um, the book of Revelation is for the future, another dispensation. Uh, we're not going to be able to understand it 100% right now in this time that we are in, this uh, church age, if you want to call it that. Um, we're not going to understand everything. I mean, I can't tell you what life is going to be like when a third of the trees are burned up and all green grass is gone, water is turned into blood, a third of the people are dead. I can't, I can't exposit the scriptures for a time like that and understand everything that's going to happen in the book of Revelation. Uh, there's some things that are a mystery. Um, and you get these, a lot of these uh, commentators and things and they just, they'll act like they understand the whole book of Revelation and we can just explain exactly what's going to happen. Uh, there's some tough parts in it. And uh, so I just kind of thought to myself, you know, instead of me just going through the book of Revelation and kind of winging it and going out off of the commentaries and things that I've read and the way I was taught, I thought, you know, maybe I should just go through Revelation and I'm going to, I'll talk about some of the stuff that's going to happen, certainly, in the book of Revelation. But what can we as Christians get from the book of Revelation for us today? So that's what I'm going to do with this study. Um, it's, I don't know if it's going to be every week that I'm going to be doing it. It might be kind of mixed up with some other things and, and you know, some other videos and things. I, I have a couple of videos I'm going to be doing here. Uh, after I get done with the uh, chapter 1, I have all the notes written out here for Revelation chapter 1. The uh, Lord showed me some really interesting things. But uh, we'll see. Not sure. But we'll get through the book of Revelation. And I'm going to be going through it, like I said, as to what can we learn from this as Christians. What can we apply to our lives? Um, one of the lies about dispensational teachers and preachers and Christians, you know, is that uh, we only take the Pauline epistles and everything else gets thrown out. Uh, that's a very big lie. Okay, Paul himself talked about the things that are written aforetime are written for our learning. All right, um, the things in the Old Testament, you can go the whole way back through the Old Testament, there's a lot of instruction and in righteousness. A lot of, you know, things doctrinally will overlap. You'll get, you know, doctrines that go the whole way through the Bible. Um, reproof, correction, you know, there are some things that are condemned in Scripture back in the Old Testament, and they're still just as good today that you can reprove people for. Correction is things that you can be corrected yourself about. So reproving is, hey, you're wrong for doing this. Why? Because the Bible said so. All right. Correction is, oh, I'm wrong for doing this. And instruction in righteousness is, okay, um, now what am I going to do about it? How am I going to change my life to be more righteous, to be more like the Lord? So that's what we're going to be going through the book of Revelation. We're going to be looking for doctrines that apply to the people in the time of Jacob's trouble, which is what the book of Revelation is about. We'll see doctrine for them that also lines up with us. But we're also going to be looking for some reproof, some things that we can be warned about that are going to be there in that time period, but that are also here today. Correction some things that we can look at our own lives and examine ourselves and say, wow, that's really incredible. It goes on there, but it's also good for us to do, you know, today, to do today. <laughs> and also for instruction in righteousness. Um, some challenges 
some spiritual lessons that we can get from the book of Revelation. So if you want to find somebody that gives you a step-by-step -step program of what's going to happen in the book of Revelation, well, there's other preachers out there that have done that. I'm not going to be doing that. Um, I mean, I, I might mention a little bit, but I'm not going to be like making the whole study on uh, exactly what's going to happen in the book of Revelation. Because quite frankly, I don't know. Some of the stuff, it's like I read it and I go, okay, I can believe what it says, but to explain it and have it exactly work out, it's like, <laughs> I don't quite get it. You know, what is exactly being said there? And we'll, we'll cover those scriptures. You'll see what I'm talking about. So, that's going to be it. I'm going to end the introduction here, and then we're going to get into chapter 1. So, thank you for watching.